Today we're going to talk about lesson 2.3, factors and factor pairs. Your math message today is this. List all of the multiplication facts that you know that equal 14. And if you need some help, you can use some counters or draw arrays to help you. And just have a picture or write all of the facts in the math message section of your notes, please. Your vocabulary today is this. We have the word factor, which is the number that you are multiplying. Product, which is the answer to a multiplication problem. And factor pair, which is a pair of numbers being multiplied to get a product. So you're going to hear these words quite frequently throughout the year, especially in this lesson. So let's get started with the lesson. What we're going to do first today is I want you to think of and watch as I list all of the whole number factor pairs for 18. So 18 is our magic number. Now there's a couple of different ways that we can go about this. I like to use a t-chart, which would look something like this. We put the number 18 at the top. And then on the left side, I am going to go through my numbers in numerical order and think, is there any factor pair that equals 18? And hopefully you'll figure out what I'm doing here as I do it. But we're gonna start with the number one. So one and 18, because one times 18 equals 18, of course. And then I'm gonna think, is there a twos fact that equals 18? Yes, there is a twos fact, two times nine. Is there a threes fact that equals 18? Yes, three and six. Is there a fours fact that equals 18? The answer to that question will be no. Is there a fives fact? No, and I automatically know that's a no because all of my products for fives facts end in a five or a zero. So I know five, isn't it? And we've already got a six listed here, so that means I'm finished. So if you were asked to list those factor pairs in order, you could start with a t-chart like I've done here, and then you could list them going down this side and then back up this side. So I would list them like this. One, two, three, six, nine, and 18. So this would be all of the factor pairs for the number 18. So this is one way to do it. Now we could try to make a table if you want and start with one and then go through all of those facts like we did before. But basically we're doing the same thing because we're doing one times 18, two times nine. And if this was your table, it would be set up very similar to our T-chart, okay? So we're gonna take that out and we're gonna try another one so that you can get some practice. So let's look at the number 14. So we're gonna look for factor pairs for the number 14. So I'm gonna make my T-chart, put 14 at the top, and then I'm always gonna start with one. So I know one and 14, two, and seven. Is there a threes fact? No. Is there a fours fact? Hmm, no. Is there a five? No. Six? No. And seven, we've already got right here. So the only factor pairs for 14 would be one, two, seven, and 14. Okay, 
let's say that I asked you to give me factor pairs for 36. Okay, we're going to start with 1 just like we did before. So 1 and 36. There is a 2's fact. Now it's not going to be one that you probably know very well, but this is an even number because it ends in a 6. And if we have 2 times what is going to give us 36? Think about that for a minute. 2 times what is going to give us 36? Should be 18. Let me just double check my math here. So 2 times 8 is 16. Regroup. 2 times 1 plus 1 is 36. Okay, then we're going to look at 3, and there is a 3's fact, 3 times 12, we're going to extend that a little bit, there is a 4's fact, 4 times 9, is there a 5's fact, is there a 6's fact, yes, and I've run out of space here, so we're going to move this over to the other side, so there is a 6 and a Six, right? Once we hit a number where we're repeating, we know we're finished. Okay? There's not a sevens fact, there's not an eight, and we've already done nine. So if we reach a number that repeats, like the six and the six, or if we come to a turnaround fact, then we're finished. So when we list all of those factor pairs, we would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and we're only going to list that once, 9, 12, 18, and 36. So we have a lot of factor pairs for 36. So hopefully you've got a pretty good idea how to find factor pairs. And that's pretty much our lesson for this particular factors and factor pairs lesson. So that's enough, right? Um, make sure that you bring your notes to class, and we will do Ticket to Group first thing. Thanks again.